Okay, guys, it's 1.44 as I start this read. Can you see it? I don't know if y'all can see it. But, um... Hmm. I was getting this song by Kid Cudi. I think it's Pursuit of Happiness. Let me see. The lyrics... Also, in parentheses, called Nightmare. Crush a bit, little bit, roll it up, take a hit. Feeling lit, feeling right. 2 a.m., summer night, I don't care. Hand on the wheel, driving drunk, I'm doing my thing. Rolling the mid west side out and living my life, getting my dream. People told me slow my roll, I'm screaming out, fuck that. I'm gonna do just what I want, looking ahead, no turning back. If I fall, if I die. No, I lived it to the fullest. If I fall, if I die, no, I lived it and missed some bullets. I'm on the pursuit of happiness and I know everything that's shining always going to be gold. I'll be fine once I get it. Yeah, I'll be good. Tell me what you know about dreaming. Do you don't really know about nothing. Tell me what you know about the night terrors every night. 5 a.m. cold sweats waking up to the sky. Tell me what you know about dreams. Tell me what you know about night terrors, nothing. You don't really care about the trials of tomorrow. Rather lay awake in the bed full of sorrow. Hmm. So I feel like, um, they said, he said, why did I drink so much and smoke so much? Yeah, I feel like, okay, so some of you guys, you are trying to find your own happiness. And this has to do with, like, Pisces energy, escapism. So some of you guys, you are, it's like you've been dealing with escapism, okay? You've been escaping, um, insomnia. Yeah, you, you guys been escaping something, okay? Maybe something that you have to face in your life. And then there's something about dreams, because, like, uh, so some of you guys, maybe you deal with insomnia. Um, there could be something that you need to reflect on instead of, like, smoking and drinking, like, when you, when you can't sleep. Or you just need to, like, um, substitute it for something else. Okay? Let's see. Brazen. Okay, so some of you... It, it, it was in reverse, so I feel like, okay, so this has to do with you being brave about something. Or you, like, not, like, being in fear, not being ashamed. Okay. So this goes back to the last reading that I just did. I was hearing that song, but I forgot to mention it last time. It used to be you or someone that you're dealing with. Someone has night terrors, really bad ones. Or someone could be getting attacked in their dreams, okay? This could be you. Someone is living their life really reckless, though, like smoking, drinking, drunk driving, uh, one night stands. I feel like this is a masculine. Let's see. This could be a feminine, too, but um, there's definitely a masculine I'm channeling here. This could definitely be a feminine, though, um, that is maybe dealing with this person and is scared. Like, about what's going to happen with this person because this is what they do all the time. Um, now, if you are the one that's in this energy, I feel like you deal, you do this. You you escape or you try to escape um, your reality because you feel ashamed about something and you fear something. Okay? You are maybe anxious or you're in fear about something that you're ashamed about okay now this could go back to the last reading i said where um this could be something that 
that um, happened to you when you were younger, okay? Maybe you don't want to deal with that, or this could be just something that you're dealing with, maybe in your relationship. All right, if you find yourself in a relationship and you are drinking and smoking more, that's definitely not the relationship for you, okay? Because there's an underlying thing there that like is like triggering you to do that more okay there's something that you're not dealing with now i'm not saying maybe maybe it's not that it's not the relationship for you but maybe it's the fact that um there's an underlying issue in yourself that you need to heal before being in in any relationship okay but if you are trying to stop these bad habits course it will not help being in a relationship with someone that has the same bad habits as you all right so some of you guys could be getting triggered by your partner or this could be a twin flame so maybe this is not your person but, um okay so this could be a long distance relationship all right or someone that at a distance from you you could be getting triggered to heal There's too many cards here. Secret lover. Okay, so this could be a secret lover at a distance from you. Your boss is a vessel for the devil. Crime of passion. Oh, wow. So some of you guys, um, either this was your employee or this is your boss. Okay, I feel like if, this, if you're a feminine energy I'm talking to, this was your boss. This person had... Um, some sort of passion for you okay you could have been their secret lover or they secretly were in love with you all right some shit like that okay i feel like this is a masculine um you are there's something here about a secret lover that you used to work with or something like that okay confession confession all right so it's time to confess like how you really feel about the situation wow confess love Right? So you could be in love with this person or you just love this person. Yeah. Medical field and CPS. Okay. So health and children. Virgo and cancer. Confession, love, DNA test, okay. Confession, love. This could be someone that you had a child with. It could be a secret child, okay. Insomnia. Um, or this was like your secret lover and then there was an unexpected child here. Or this person had a secret lover. This is Mr. Pleasure. And, um threesome okay so there's a third party here so maybe you got someone pregnant unexpectedly and had a rainbow child but i also feel like maybe this person got pregnant by someone but it could have broke your heart or something because like you could love this person but maybe the baby's not yours rainbow child or something if this is a feminine energy um someone that you were dealing with Maybe you love this person, but you ended up getting pregnant with someone else. Okay, flip it how you want to flip it. Vision board. Okay, so there's something here that you manifested or someone manifested. Advertising. Okay, what is this that they manifested? What? Someone is trying to manifest a death, okay, with the vision board. They, they, they want you dead? What the fuck? Huh? That kind of took a left fucking turn trying to re-traumatize you yeah this person wants you dead nightlife these are vampires here what's up with this because this is just this took a rough fucking turn okay confession love dna test rainbow child so someone's gonna confess that they love you but they 
but the child's not yours or they love you but they got somebody pregnant all right either or my advice for child whatever Now, someone is re-traumatizing their self by getting back into the nightlife. Okay? Nightlife, re-traumatizing you. Someone's trying to set you up to, like, re-traumatize you in a situation that you're still heal healing from in the past. They want to re-trigger it. Scare tactics to re-trigger it. Conspiracy. Exactly. It's a conspiracy against you. I feel like these people want you to unalive yourself. They want you to feel like ashamed of something and like fearful and, and all that shit. So they're hacking your shit. CPS. They could be doing something when it comes to your children or threatening you, scaring you when it comes to the children. Um, some shit like that. It'd be the closest ones to you. Yeah, this is someone that looks very close to you. This could be your lover. Your ex-lover. Someone that you want to consider a lover. Inheritance. Yeah, okay. This goes along with the next reading I'm about to do. So, um, I've been getting that a lot lately. Drug abuse, okay. So, you could, someone's abusing drugs. They could want you to turn to drugs. If you have insomnia or you are feeling this anxiety, shame, or whatever. You could be feeling this person's emotions. Okay, this person's having sleepless nights and they're turning to drugs. Candle magic, fire magic. Um, fire magic that could be smoking okay but someone could be up late at night doing spells or some shit hidden desires they have a hidden desires for you singer songwriter this could be a hit uh, a singer or a songwriter or a rapper this person is a psycho okay they have hidden desires for you they'd be up at night doing motherfucking spell work and shit Car, premeditated crime. So there's a premeditated premeditated crime having to do with someone's car. All right. Private detective is on um, somebody's case right now. The one that's trying to manifest a death here. So I feel like okay. So there's something here. Hmm. I'm gonna get advice because I feel like they're, they're trying. They want okay. There's a Bonnie and Clyde here. This is like a karmic couple here. Guilt gifts, fake apologies, fallen angel. So they want you to fall from grace. You could be dealing with a fallen angel. These people already fell from grace, but they have some sort of divinity to them. Okay, so I was getting like um Lucifer. I was getting Lucifer the show. Okay, um, you see how Lucifer. He had a lot of like um trauma that he had to deal with when it came to his father, okay, God, because he resented him for um trapping him in hell, basically like sending him to hell, but it wasn't a punishment, right? It was really because he needed them him there, but it was a punishment, and you know that's how the the plot was in that show, but um he didn't really understand it. So he escaped using drugs, using alcohol, using whatever, um, a lot of sex, stuff like that. Somebody's doing that. Like, um, someone doesn't understand why they're going through something or this is what this person wants you to do. I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's a man here. They don't understand why this happened or what, why they had to go through this or why this person did this or something like that. I don't know. So they're like. But they're like um blaming everything on on um mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me see. Trick daddy, sugar mama, industry bait music. Okay, so somebody got baited by someone in the music industry. Okay, they wanted you to fall from grace, or this is this person. Okay. Someone could be in college, okay? Or maybe you go to the same college as this person or something like that. I don't know. It's a college keep coming out. I just, 
Maybe you could be in college right now. Abstinence. Okay, so it's important for you to stay abstinent at this time. Or you're abstaining from something. You're abstaining after. Some of you guys, um, this, this person, you used to um, engage in threesomes. Someone engaged in a lot of threesomes, okay? This is that masculine energy that I'm talking about. Okay, this could be that person that's in the music industry. They like to have threesomes. They mix a lot of business with pleasure. I feel like you're abstaining from this person or this person is practicing abstinence now. Sibling. This could be a sibling or somebody be uh, messing with twins. Like this man be having sex with twins. Performance. Something about twins. Industry. Yeah, there's a lot of industry shit here. Okay, so somebody performing. And there's something about some twin sisters here. All right. Bad business. Yeah, this is some bad business deal or a label. Okay, somebody flew somebody out. A private detective is watching this, okay? I'm gathering information about this shit. United Kingdom. Somebody could live in the United Kingdom. Asking if celibacy came out again. So in order for... Okay, if you're the one who they're doing death spells on, it's important for you to stay abstinent, Okay. Because they're trying to get you through someone that is, they're going to send someone to have sex with you or something like that. Okay. So that this person can get close enough to do this. College. Apartment. And co-worker, business partner. All right. So all that could be significant. Something about a college dorm. Deadbeat child neglect. Okay, so maybe um, someone has an apartment near their college or near a college, okay? Um, or, or someone could have an apartment with their coworker or business partner. Or this coworker or business partner is going to meet someone at an apartment by the college, okay? They could be a deadbeat or neglecting a child or this could be about a child being neglected. Okay, so you could be someone with a very high IQ and there's a lot of mental manipulation and um, projection magic on you at this time so that you could be confused about what the, what the um, intentions of these people are. Okay, so if you're dealing with someone that... Um, okay... This person's not showing their hand. They're not showing how they really feel about a situation. All right, so you need to know that this person's intentions is not good for you, okay? They do not want you on this earth anymore. Even if this person may have had some sort of love for you, or they had love for you, had love for you, whatever. This person feels... Um, Tell me how does this person feel about collecting figures? Desire. They still desire you. But I feel like you may have surrendered them or they surrendered you naked. Okay, so they still desire you. All right. They want to see you naked or something like that. Surrender. But something caused you to surrender this. This was protection. 44. This could be a child. A child got in the way. So maybe you got pregnant by someone else. Or you got someone else pregnant. This this got in the way of this person that actually did not have good intentions for you. Okay. Secrets revealed. Okay, so this could have been a secret that was revealed or someone just found out. Yeah. This is going to cause you to cut the cords of this person at the cords. Okay, you can have two children. Good juju and um, level up. So this is gonna was this is you cutting the cord is gonna was is gonna cause you to level up in a situation. Could be with your business. Okay. I feel like they didn't want that. 
live out loud. So, okay, so whatever this is, whatever happened, it's like people, I don't 